Cher Shah Suri is perhaps one of the most iconic individuals to have ruled the Indian subcontinent. But even such a brilliant military commander would meet his match when he faced the Rajputs. During his rule, he fought against the Rathor army in the Battle of Samel, also known as Giri Sumel. The name was such because the battle was fought between the villages of Giri and Sumel. The Afghans had Sher Shah Suri, and the Rathors were led by Jaita and Kumpa. Hello, and welcome to the History Channel. Today, we are going to tell you about the famous Battle of Samel and the events that followed. So let us begin. Farid, also known as Sher Shah Suri, was a strong Afghan warlord who in the middle of the 16th century was in charge of the resurgence of Afghans in northern India. Initially engaged in the horse trade, his grandfather later fled to India when the Lodi monarchy, an Afghan dynasty, came to power in the region. Sher Shah was born in 1486 AD, while the precise date is largely disputed. His site of birth is up for discussion just as his date of birth. Hisar or Bajwara are two birthplaces that some historians claim he was born in, while Narnaul Pargana is another. Sher Shah then joined Sultan Muhammad's empire. Due to his leadership, Sher Shah gained the respect of his master, and it was Sultan Muhammad who awarded him his title after Sher Shah single-handedly killed a tiger. Later, when the Mughals arrived, the Afghan power was depleted, and Sher Shah helped Babur, the Mughal emperor, in his eastern operations. Sultan Muhammad passed away in the year 1528 AD, and his widow succeeded him as ruler of the empire that had become a Mughal vassal. Sher Shah was chosen as the deputy naib of her state in 1529 because Dudu, Sultan Muhammad's wife, was unable to run the state. Sher Shah made the decision to take the reins of Indian politics in northern India after Dudu's passing. He conquered Chunar's fort and Pargana and developed into a prominent figure. Later, in 1534, he overcame Bengal Sultan Surajgar. Sher engaged in numerous conflicts in Bengal. As a result, Rising to the rank of warlord by 1538 AD, the same year he was crowned at Gaur. As a result of the Mughals' concern over Sher Shah's danger, they engaged Sher Shah in battle at Chausa in 1539. However, the battle was a total loss for the Mughals, and Humayun, their leader, withdrew to Agra in order to continue fighting another day. Later, in 1540 AD, at Kanauj, the Mughals and Sher Shah engaged in another significant conflict. Afghans were less than 15,000 compared to the 40,000 Mughals. But the Afghans once more dealt the Mughals a resounding defeat thanks to Sher Shah's military leadership. The Mughal era in northern India came to an end as a result of this conflict, as Humayun fled to Persia, and Sher Shah Suri established the Sur dynasty. After that, Sher Shah launched an invasion of the Gakars for strategic reasons, because it was situated between the rivers Indus and Jello. Later on in the year 1542, he attacked Malwa. Then, in the same year, he invaded Chanderi. After that, he captured Raisin, albeit dishonorably. Sher Shah split his kingdom up into several different Sarkars, and each Sarkar had its own head who was in charge of a different administration, such as administering the revenue system under Chief Munsfi or maintaining peace and order 
under Chief Shikdar. His army consisted of around 150,000 cavalry, 25,000 infantry, and 5,000 war elephants. His cavalry alone numbered 25,000. After that, he made the decision to subdue the Rajput regions, and at that time, the most powerful Rajput state was Marwar, which was ruled by Maldev Rathor. During his reign, the charismatic Rajput ruler made the kingdom of Marwar the most powerful Rajput holdout. Sher Shah had been preparing for war with Marwar for a period of four months, but he was very careful to conceal the cause for his preparations from anyone who may find out about them. Sher Shah led an enormous army consisting of 80,000 mounted soldiers into battle against Marwar in the year 1543. Maldeo advanced to meet Sher Shah's army, accompanied by a force of 50,000 soldiers. Sher Shah took the unorthodox route through Didwana instead of Bayana. Kumpa had resisted Sher Shah's advance in Shekawati, and as a result, Sher Shah made it a point to entrench himself at every stop. He finally came to a halt in the village of Samel in the Pargana of Jaitaran, which is 90 kilometers east of Jodhpur. He fortified his position by placing his men in a defensive position with the river Samel in front of them. Maldev was taken aback by the unexpected arrival of his adversary and marched his army to Giri, which was approximately 20 kilometers or 12 miles away from Sher Shah's camp. The scrum forest in Giri provided cover to the Marwar army, and as a result, both armies were well entrenched. During this period, the former rulers of Bikaner and Merta, both of whom had been deposed, arrived to lend their support to Sher Shah. During this time, Maldev kept a defensive posture because he was wary of his barons. Maldev had recently conquered his barons, and as a result, he was hesitant to assault foolishly. In addition to this, Sher Shah was aware that he was in a dangerous desert with a limited supply of food and water. The digging of trenches had already taken a toll on his Afghan forces who were unaccustomed to the terrain and were struggling to keep up with the pace of the work. After one month of fighting, Sher Shah's situation grew precarious as a result of the challenges of supplying his enormous army with food due to the fact that they had run out. According to contemporary chroniclers writing in Persian, Sher Shah resorted to a smart stratagem in order to settle the dilemma he found himself in. One evening, he slipped several fake letters into the area close to Maldeo's camp in a way that ensured they would be picked up by someone. These letters gave the impression, which was not true, that some of Maldev's army leaders had made assurances of aid to Sher Shah. Maldev was thrown into a state of immense confusion as a result of this, and he immediately, and incorrectly, suspended his commanders of being disloyal. On January 4, 1544, Maldeo and his own troops set out for Jodhpur, leaving his commanders to whatever fate had in store for them. When Jaita and Kumpa, two innocent generals serving under Maldev, found out what had occurred, they became concerned about how they would be able to demonstrate their innocence. When the monarch issued the order to evacuate, the proud chieftains determined that they would not do so, despite the fact that the enemy force consisted of 80,000 soldiers, cannons, and war elephants, and that they had only had a few thousand warriors to defend themselves with. According to reports, Jaita said the area we are fleeing was conquered and defended by our forefathers. Therefore, we must not abandon it and run away. 
in the subsequent fight that took place in Samel, Jaita, Kumpa, and a number of other chieftains launched an assault on Sher Shah's central stronghold, devastating havoc in the latter's forces. In response to the accusation, Sher Shah dispatched war elephants and more soldiers under the command of Jalal Khan. The Afghans quickly prevailed over the attackers thanks to their greater numbers and more powerful weapons. The struggle persisted until every single member of the Rathors was eliminated from it. The Afghan triumph was difficult to achieve and led to the recording of a famous Persian quotation in which Sher Shah is quoted as saying, For a handful of millet, I almost lost the empire of Hindustan. According to the words of Tariq e Dawidi, some of the chieftains such as Jaya, Jaita, and Goha, Kumpa, and others came and attacked Sher Shah Suri and demonstrated amazing heroism. After a portion of the Afghan army was defeated, one of the survivors approached Sher Shah and yelled in the language of his homeland, Mount, because the infidels are routing your army. Sher Shah gave the command to his horse, and he was getting ready to flee when the word came that his troops had killed Jaita and Kumpa. Following the conclusion of the Battle of Samel, Kawas Khan Marwat and Isa Khan Niazi captured the province of Marwar, stretching from Ajmer to Mount Abu, and took possession of Jodhpur in the year 1544. In spite of this, Maldeo retook control of his former domains in 1545. After this, Rao Maldeo was victorious over Barmal and was able to seize control of four regions of the Kingdom of Amer. In an effort to save himself, Barmel went to seek assistance from Haji Khan Sur. After the Battle of Samel, Haji Khan, who had previously been Sher Shah Suri's slave, ascended to the position of Lord of Ajmer and Nagaur. Maldeo, who was on a comeback to gain back his lost lands, attacked Haji. However, the states of Mewar and Bikaner rushed to Haji's aid and forced Maldeo to retire. Haji eventually won the battle. According to one version of events, the reason for the rapid deterioration of relations between Haji and Udai Singh II was Udai Singh's demand that Haji provide him with a dancing lady in exchange for his assistance in fighting Maldeo. Haji was forced to seek asylum with Maldeo after Udai Singh issued a war threat at him. Together, Maldeo and Haji's army were successful in defeating Udai Singh in the Battle of Harmoda in January 1557. After the battle, Maldeo was able to take control of the fortified city of Merta. Maldeo continued his invasion of Amber and ultimately succeeded in turning the Kachawaharaja into a feudatory of Marwar. After Humayun's death in 1556, Akbar took his place as Mughal Emperor. At this time, many Rajput leaders gathered around him to air their grievances against the Rathor chief of Jodhpur. Akbar employed this as a justification for going to war with Maldeo and launched multiple attacks on Marwar as a result. In the year 1557, the Mughals took control of Ajmer and Nagaur, and shortly thereafter, Akbar took control of Jaitaran and Parbatsar. Despite this, the Mughals were not successful in capturing the central lands of Marwar. Before he passed away, Maldeo controlled the districts of Jodhpur, Sojat, Jaitaran, Palodi, Sewana, Pakran, Jalore, Sanchore, Merta, Bermet and Katra, as well as portions of Jai Salmer. Because of the conflict that erupted between Maldeo's sons, Akbar was eventually able to take control of these lands.
So that is all the time we had today. If you want to watch more of our videos, then do not forget to subscribe to our channel and do hit the bell icon to receive an instant notification from our side. Till then, see ya.